All right, so this week I'm going to be a little bit late to getting the Coca-Cola Bear, so I thought to make up for that, how about I review Snakes on a Plane? This movie was released in 2006. I did not watch it in the theater when it was released because I would have been five or six, but I did watch it when I was in middle school. I think it was on FX. I was up super late, later than I should have been, and this is one of the movies that came on. I was definitely scared of this movie at the time, but having watched it again, is it as scary as it was when I was a kid? And to answer that question, yeah, it, it still is effective with some of the horror elements in the film. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but I do want to mention who made the film and also who stars in the film. The film is directed by David R. Ellis, who unfortunately passed away back in 2013, but he also directed films such as Final Destination 2 and 2009's The Final Destination. And of course, starring in the film, we have Sam Jackson as Neville Flynn, FBI agent Neville Flynn. Let's put some respect on the name. We also have Juliana Maragueles. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Probably not as Claire Miller. She is one of the flight attendants on board. Then we have Nathan Phillips playing Sean Jones, the witness to this murder that happens and the reason why he's on the plane and also the reason why these snakes are unleashed on the plane because they want to take out the witness. Also amongst the cast, we have people like Flex Alexander as 3Gs, Keenan Thompson as Troy. Like I said, the reason the snakes are unleashed on the plane is because this guy is a witness to a murder, and the murderer is this big mob boss, and that's pretty much all you get. You don't really get a whole lot from that story. Really, it's just there to set up snakes being on a plane. If you're going into this movie for anything more than snakes on a plane, then you're not really going to get much else out of it. That is what you're getting, and the movie delivers on it. Of course, as the title would suggest, this movie is absolutely ridiculous. Whether it's the cringy dialogue or the hilarious-looking snakes, honestly, this movie isn't something that is meant to be taken too seriously. And on the note of the snakes in this movie, at times it does look like they could be real snakes, at other times, it literally just looks like a rubber snake, but most of the time, it just looks like PS2 graphics. The special effects in this movie that really worked for me were the practical effects, especially the ones involving the people that were being infected by the venom of the snakes. Those practical effects looked terrifying. I honestly couldn't even look at the screen at times. Those were done really effectively. On the topic of those more intense and almost scary scenes, the horror elements of this movie do work pretty well throughout most of the film, but... A lot of the time, it's not only the visual effects, but also the humor of the film that takes away from those moments. Spoiler alert, but there's a scene in here involving two little boys on this plane, and one of them ends up getting bit. He has to get the venom sucked out of his arm by another lady that's on the plane. It's a really scary scene, really intense. I really love that scene. It made me tear up. I just put myself in not only the little kid's shoes, not only the brother's shoes, but also the shoes of the adults on the plane trying to save the life of the kids. It's scary for everybody involved, and if you have any kids or younger siblings or nieces or nephews, it's very much an anxiety-inducing scene, but at the same time, they felt the need to undercut it with a joke at the end, whereas the lady who sucked the venom out of the kid's arm was a very pretty-looking lady, and Kenan Thompson's character said, oh, I got bit too, when in fact he did not. And that's the biggest standout for me in this film of humor undercutting a very tense moment, I would have loved that moment so much more if they hadn't felt the need to have a joke right after. The story in the script, not the greatest. The dialogue in here, like I said, is very cringy, very crude. And the story of this movie, the setup at least, is very clumsy and doesn't always make the most sense. The premise alone is cool, but the execution isn't the greatest. It's ridiculous as hell, but it's still kind of a fun watch. Maybe not the movie for everybody, but at the same time, if you're in the mood for a movie like this, maybe consider watching it. When it comes to ranking Snakes on a Plane, I'm going to rank it on the retro film ranking system. I'm going to go ahead and give this movie a class eh. But have you seen Snakes on a Plane? Tell me, what did you think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Are you in the middle? I would definitely say I'm in the middle. It's not great, but it's also not horrible. But have you not seen it? Are you planning on watching it anytime soon? Why or why not? I'd also love to know. Any comments down below, I'd love to hear from you. I respond to pretty much all of them. But do me a favor and leave a like on the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload, and I will see you in the next one.